you know, I want you to internally look at yourself today because when we say it's on us, when we say it all starts with you, when I said it all starts with you, it's about taking responsibility over your life. And I just want you to think about for a second, man, I'm gonna get super passionate right now because this is between life and death for a lot of people. You know, when we look at our lives and our lives aren't in a place where they want to be. I know when I look at my life, when my life is in a place where I want to be spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, when I look at my life, when I look at my past, when I look at the dark times in my life, yes, life's going to happen. We all know that. But I always notice that when I'm in these moments is because I'm accepting something that I shouldn't accept in my life. All right. I'm accepting something that I shouldn't accept in our life. And the more we accept less than what we deserve. Okay, and this is not just about somebody giving it to you, by the way. This is from yourself. Because a lot of us have accepted less from ourselves. A lot of us have accepted mediocre from ourselves. A lot of us has accepted things that we know shouldn't be in our life and we kept ourselves there, kept ourselves in an environment. And your life is a reflection of what you accept. So if you keep accepting pain, if you keep accepting BS, if you keep accepting nonsense, if you keep tolerating things you shouldn't tolerate no more, if you keep going against your standards, if you keep going against your non-negotiables, there's a good chance your life will end up in a place where you're not happy. There's a good chance that your life will end up in a place where you're not fulfilled. And so many people in this world keep doing the same things over and over and over and over again. And they expect a different result. They go do the same habits and expect something new. They hang around the same people that have done nothing for their life and they expect something different. They stay their, their self in the same environment. They watch the same things, they do the same things, and they program themselves with pain. You program yourself with accepting less, and you wonder why you feel like this. So anytime in my life, when I know I'm not in the place where I need to be, I go back and evaluate and I ask myself this one question. What did I choose to accept in my life? What did I choose to accept this last week? What did I choose to accept this last month? What did I choose to accept this last year? And the more you stop accepting things that you know you shouldn't accept, Right? Even from yourself, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't want to come out here today. I don't get up saying, oh, I want to run. Let's go run. Rarely is there a day that I do that. But I was sitting in my car for five minutes trying to talk myself out of coming out here. Five minutes, literally, me, trying to talk myself, in the, trying to find all the excuses in the world. I drove out here and I sat in my car. And I asked myself this question. Trent, if you accept this, this is going to lead to a whole a whole timeline of you accepting less in your life. If you accept this little thing of you not going to do something and make, keeping a promise to yourself, it's going to be contagious throughout your whole life. So I got my butt out the car and I went out here and I did this run, even when I didn't feel like doing it. And guess what? I feel great now because I broke through that barrier. But some of us, what we do is we sit there and we accept less from ourselves and we wonder why our life is in a place where it's at. And this is no like... I'm not trying to step on your, actually, I am trying to step on your toes. I'm not trying to be insensitive to your life and to your journey. But I just want to tell you, man, if you keep accepting pain, how can you ever expect to be healed in your life? Right? If you keep accepting less from yourself, how can you expect to be the greatest version of yourself? You got two voices that's talking to you all the time. You got the quitter mentality voice and you got the champion voice. The quitter voice is telling you, oh, you know, your life is over or you shouldn't do it. Don't worry about it. Nothing's going to change or everything's going to be the same or you know what? You'll never find anybody. You'll never be happy. You'll never be this. You'll never be that. And you sit there and believe it. And some of us, the reason why our life is the way it is, is not because of circumstances. It's because we choose to accept the circumstances that come in our life. Instead of listening to that champion voice and saying, you know what? You know what? I might be going through a hard time, but I'm going to let this build me. You know what? I might be dealing with certain situations in my life, but you know what? I'm going to break out of this. You know what? I might be going through a hard time, a storm, but I'm going to let this storm grow me. I'm going to let this storm make me better. If I'm going to go through it, I'm going to get something from it. That's what I'm going to do. So I just want you to think about that today. And a lot of people don't want to hear this message because, again, this is a message where you got to look inside yourself. We live in a, in a world where everybody wants to blame everybody for their life. So when I talk about things like this, I don't expect this to be a popular message. But this is the message that really changes your life if you really get it and understand it. And you just realize, man, what if I allowed, what if I allowed to continue? And I just want to tell you these facts. You don't have to allow it. You don't got to stay a part of it. And you don't got to keep accepting it. I want to repeat that to you. You don't got to allow it. I don't care what people say. You don't have to allow it. You have the power to say no. You have the power to say, not anymore. You got the power to say, adios. You got the power to say, deuces. You got the power to say, you know what? Nah, you got the power to do that. You, and I know it's easier said than done, but we know how we feel about those words. That can't be a word for the rest of your life. 
You don't have to allow it. You don't have to accept it. You don't have to be a part of it. You don't. And if you stay a part of the things that's breaking you apart, if you stay a part of the things that's breaking you apart, then you will never be whole. So you got to make some decision and say, man, I got to change something. Something has to give. Something has to change. If your life is in a place where it sucks, where you don't, where you're not fulfilled, you're not happy. And I understand maybe you lost somebody, right? Maybe something happened. I'm not saying that life is always sunshine and rainbows. This is not the message. Life is not about perfection. But if you don't like your situation, if you don't like your situation or whatever is going on in your life, you have to do something about it. You do. I don't care if it's going to walk in nature, if that's your start. And a lot of us, what we do is we expect a change to happen overnight. So that's why a lot of us don't change because we physically can't see change. And a lot of us lack faith. And we say, okay, I'm not going to do this because it's not going to happen the next day. I'm still going to be sad. I'm still going to be unhappy. I'm still going to be uncomfortable for the next few months. Listen, man, you're playing a life game right now. Life. Stop thinking so momentarily and think life. And ask yourself this question. I always say you to ask yourself a question because I want you the quality of your questions determine the quality of your life. When I ask myself better questions, my life changed for the better. But ask yourself this question. If you keep accepting, allowing, staying in, whatever it may be for you, and what you're in or what you're currently doing, your habits, it ain't always people. Maybe it's you. Your habits, your mindset, your, your health. If you keep doing the same thing, where is your life going to be a year from now? Just answer that question. And if you can't say my life is going to ask yourself that question. If I keep allowing it, if I keep accepting it, if I keep keeping my life in what it's currently in, the environment is currently in, the circumstances is currently in, whatever it may be, where is my life going to be a year from now? Then ask yourself this question. If you don't like it, if you don't like your answer, ask yourself this question. What can I do about it? What's the first thing I can do about it? I'm not talking about the whole plan. People want to plan out 10 years from now. Nah, I'm talking about what can you do about it today? What's one thing you can do about it today? Maybe it's just, I'm gonna pray about it. That's great. Maybe it's just, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, what are you gonna do about it today? Because too many of us, we keep complaining about the things that we aren't willing to change. We keep complaining about the things that we aren't willing to change. We keep complaining about the things that we aren't willing to change. Nobody wants to hear you keep complaining about it. I don't want to hear myself complain about certain things. I check myself and I say, Trent, you've been complaining about this for the last two months. What you going to do about it? What you going to do about it? And that's the question that you have to ask yourself, man, if you really want change. 